your shot, right? Okay, sounds like a shot. Jam. He pushes back. Full. My hand. Any. Okay, rule of thumb. Been to the clinics before at boot camp. What do you do? This. What happens here? You got to get that wrist. You got to get this wrist. And I don't care. Stand up. And I don't care if it's. Stand up. No, you get them here. You gotta reach up, get that wrist. Or, or, you know, he stands up, not return, reaching for that wrist. When, he, when I not return someone, I'm looking for that wrist as I'm falling. This is a great position to have someone, but it's very easy to recover from. Hip heist, come up, go. Hip heist, there you go. Slowest hip heist ever <laughs> done. Come on, hip heist, there you go. So we, you know, we, this is a great position to have someone, but we're not here long. Right, so when I go for my tight waist, I dip my shoulder. A lot of people tight waist, they just go here like a seatbelt. <coughs> hip down. Okay, if I dip my shoulder and look to the ceiling, so that my, my fingers should be touching his spine, and I don't care how long your arms are. Mine are almost all the way around. But your fingers should be touching his spine. Go ahead and hip down. Okay, pretty hard. And then when I come in, it's gonna, that's when I score. All right, so I, I, I gotta dip, and then I'm not, you know, I'm not going here, starting from here. I gotta get him to his, sit, uh, as I call this, watching TV position right here. Get him to TV position, wrist, tight waist. And I'm looking to the ceiling, this far knees up. I'm gonna shoot, if I don't have the wrist, I didn't get it, he brought his wrist up, I'm chopping. My far knee and far, far arm are going to chop and shoot under. My knee shoots under. Right now, I'm, at, um, I'm parallel with him. i got to get to my T. Two things i got to do from here. Get to my T and bring my knee up. That steers him into my lap. And this keeps it so that if, if I stay here, he's going to hip up and put me in a headlock. Go ahead. Okay, so i got to... Bring my hips in, bring my torso back, and elevate far leg. Okay, so, off the whistle, bottom end set. Gotta have a strategy. Can't be, you know, well, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what happens. I know that I got a jam right off the whistle, bottom end set. And when we line up, I don't line up like this, Jesse Jansen style. He taught me this when he was teaching him um, a couple years ago. Head to head, cheat a little. Get up there so that you're right here instead of being back here. If the referee gives you caution, so what? You get two of them, right? Most of them, most of the time they won't. Jam. He pushes back. Pull. Sideways. Chop. Shoot the other. Get to my team. Bring me up. Elevate. Hey, look at the flap here. Grab that. Use it. Get your points, get out of there. Got it? Yeah. When you drive forward and then pull them down, you want to pull at the hip or like, So, so when I'm going? Yeah, when you're pulling them down. Oh, when I'm pulling them yeah. to, to TV position? Yeah. I'm actually, yeah, I want to be grabbing the high groin. It's a good question. So I don't grab here. See that? I don't, I don't have as much torque here as I do right here. And the other one is here. Now, a lot of people right off the whistle will go like this. All right, guess what? This is just as good as this. Or this is just as good as this. Now, if you get this, that's great. But you're not going to get that off the whistle. So why take your hips away on the whistle? I mean, really, you should be here. This is what people do. Huh? Which is the opposite of what you need to be doing. You need to be getting your short. Short handle here, because if he brings his elbow back quick, go. One nothing. Because why? I got a handle. I got his chest muscle. Ready? Go. One to one. Ready? Go. Two to one. Ready? Go. Two to two. Ready? Go. Three to two. I fall starting. Good one. Go. <laughs> go after I get my handle. Four two. Ready? Go. Four, five two. Ready? Go. Five three. So, point is, you got to get that handle. I don't care if it's chest, shoulder. Or even if you got to go here, go ahead. But you know, I'd like to get on the arm in the beginning. Here, 
and then catch your handles. Okay? He pushes back, pull him right into the same position he's pushing from. All right? Now here I'm going to have to drape to get him down. Then I go tight. If I can't get the wrist, chop. Shoot me under, load him up. Get to my tee, knee up. If I keep that knee down, what happens? Ah! Missed it. Elevate him, elevate far leg, get your back. We could spend a lot of time on this, but we've got to move on. So let's go drill this a few times and come back. Ready? 